Hello everyone, this is Puka and welcome to another Pokemon TCG video. Today we're going to continue to look at strong cards from the new set XY Furious Fist. And I would say this card is probably the second most hyped behind Strong Energy. And that's going to be Seismitoad EX. So for the longest time everybody knew Seismitoad as that round Pokemon... Uh, a little bit of a joke, Pokemon, not too serious, but now he has to be taken seriously. He has the attack Quaking Punch. So for two colorless energy, we do 30, and then your opponent can't play any item cards from his or her hand during his or her next turn. Oh boy. So this is much like Zebstrika's Disconnect in Dragonite's Deafen Attack. Except this is on a basic Pokemon, and this can be powered up using a double colorless energy. So all we have to do is drop that onto a Seismitoad EX, and as soon as the first turn, we can use Quaking Punch and take away all of our opponent's item cards. Now that is devastating. Most decks rely completely on those item cards. You know, things like Ultra Ball to search out some Pokemon, and whatever else they may need, bicycle, roller skates, we see all sorts of things. Even using Hypnotoxic Laser and Muscle Band for additional damage. So many decks revolve around item cards and Quaking Punch can take those away on the first or second turn. So that is very, very powerful in itself. So we're going to try to revolve this deck around Quaking Punch. I'm not sure if it's going to have enough damage output to really be successful by itself. But that's just something we'll have to find out and adjust in testing, you know, once we start playing around with it. Now, to make our damage as strong as possible, we are going to run four Muscle Band. That's going to make Quaking Punch do 50. And then four Hypnotoxic Laser, along with two Verbank City Gym. Uh, since your opponent can't play any item cards, they won't, they won't be able to play something like Switch to get out of the poison. So uh, Laser and Verbank become much stronger when your opponent can't play item cards. So the entire focus of the deck will be Seismitoad EX. Now it does have a second attack, Grenade Hammer. I'm not quite sure how those two words got combined. Uh, is there a hammer that shoots out grenades, or are you hammering your opponent with grenades? I'm not really sure what's going on there, but it does do 130 damage for three, and a lot of people are confused about the effect here. It does 30 to 2 of your benched Pokemon, not your opponent's, so you are damaging your own Pokemon when using Grenade Hammer. Um, so, it's a decent attack, nothing too great, but, you know, sometimes we could power it up with a Muscle Band, a Laser, Verbank, and it can hit for 180, but it's going to be tough to power this up. Most of the time, we're just going to use Quaking Punch. Alright, so, I don't think Seismitoad can do it by itself, so... We have a bunch of partners here to help the big toad out. The first one's going to be Garbodor. So Garbotoxin, uh, obviously everyone knows what this does at this point. You got a tool on it, you take away all abilities in play. This is particularly strong with Quaking Punch. Since, you know, the way to deal with Garbodor is to play a Startling Megaphone, or, uh, well, Tool Scrapper actually rotated out, but Startling Megaphone would discard the tool off of Garbodor, and then... Ah, you get abilities back. But when you use Quaking Punch, they can't play Starling Megaphone. So, your uh, your opponent's items are locked and their abilities are locked. So that's a very strong combo right here. We can shut down a lot of decks just between these two. Also, Garbodor has the nice effect of shutting down Verizian EX, which means we can then play Hypnotoxic Laser once again, which is a very, very big deal since this deck does need those lasers to do some additional damage output. Now our other Pokemon are honestly just, um, well one has a specific purpose, one is just to do big damage. First one's going to be Mewtwo EX. So X-Ball, pretty strong, um, not much else to say about it if we get a bunch of energy on him, and usually we will because we'll have time while we use Quaking Punch to set up. Um, you can just get a big Mewtwo with a big X-Ball and go to town. All right, we can knock out all sorts of stuff if we have enough energy. Also, this is very good against Lucario EX, which is kind of a problem 
for Seismitoad at some point, but uh, Mewtwo, just a solid attacker in general. We have DCE, might as well use him. Now, the Reshiram, we have two of them here. Uh, this deck is going to get destroyed by Verizian Genesect if we don't play a couple of these Reshiram. So the idea is, against that deck, you would actually throw up the Reshiram early on, and then if the Verizian EX happens to Emerald Slash your Reshiram, well, you just outrage for a knockout. If they do 50, well, you attach a Muscle Band and outrage for a ton of damage. That's actually a 180 damage to Verizian EX after it hits you for 50. And you have a Muscle Band. The math works out. Uh, if they hit you with a Muscle Banded Emerald Slash, then you outrage for a knockout. So that's just an easy way to get two quick prizes. And then from there... It's just going to be Reshram and Mewtwo carrying the load against a Verizian Genesec deck. And we do have Garbodor to give access to lasers as well. Seismitoad is going to be largely useless against that kind of a deck. Weak to grass, Verizian resists water, so uh, not a good combination there. So we do need these backup Pokemon. I'm not sure what backup Pokemon are the best quite yet. Evil Tall EX might be a little better than Mewtwo. We don't particularly need to run Water for Grenade Hammer. We could run Darkness Energy instead. Evil Ball is a little stronger than X Ball, so we could go that route instead. This is kind of my first shot at this deck, so uh, bear with me. I don't know if it's good or bad. Haven't really tried it out very much. So we've seen all the Pokemon, the Muscle Bands, the Verbanks, the Lasers. Um, I guess we'll take a look at... What's left? <laughs> I mean, we have the four DCE, the just seven water energy. We want to make sure we have enough energy to attack. Uh, we want to be a very explosive deck. We want to be able to use that quaking punch turn one. So we're going to actually run four bicycle and then a computer search. Those are going to be some nice item based ways to draw into things like maybe switch or float stone if we need to get our active out of the out of the active so we can put a seismitoad up there or if we need to just draw a dc to use quaking punch that's one way to do it computer search is really good since we are running computer search we are going to be playing for skyla as well just improves our odds of quaking punch on the first turn then we have four juniper and just three n and two lysander since you know lysander is also very good with quaking punch again they can't play Switch or Float Stone, so we can drag something up and maybe lock it in there with Quaking Punch. All right. So this very explosive deck tries to hit hard turn one or turn two. You know, if you go first, you can't really attack, but hey, whatever. Uh, we also have four Ultra Ball, one Professor's Letter, just because we're playing so many Skyla. It's nice to be able to search for that. And I think that's it. That, that is our deck, a very simple one, but a very effective one. I still have yet to be convinced that Seismitoad EX is a very strong Pokemon. I don't know if the 30 or 50 damage will be quite enough to make it a Tier 1 deck, but hey, that's what playtesting is for. So let's go ahead and take a look at a game I played on Pokemon TCG Online and see what happens with the mighty Seismitoad EX and its Quaking Punch. Alright, so I have played a few games with the deck and I do feel pretty underwhelmed when I use it. For example, if I use Quaking Punch and then they bring out a Mewtwo and X-Ball me, well, the game degenerates very quickly into Mewtwo Wars, which I don't want. So, things like that are not cool. Also, I've seen, you know, them start with an Evil Tall EX and just Evil Ball me. Same scenario, except I don't have any easy response to Evil Tall EX. So, <sighs> I don't know. Um, I really don't know if Seismitoad's good or not. It, it really needs to go off turn one or two. If it doesn't, then it's pretty weak. But if you can cut off item cards that quickly, usually that is very, very good. So my opponent looks like, what? What is with Don Fan lately? Why do so many people love this guy now? I've been seeing it a lot on Pokemon TCG Online. This is another variant of the Don Fan deck. Of course, he uses Spinning Turn to switch into a Pokemon. Uh, this is going to be Don Fan Trevenant, it looks like. So item cards are locked down when you switch into the Trevenant. Not quite as strong as Trevenant Excelgore, but hey, 
it's something, I guess. So we see two fan being three fan dump. Lots of fans out there. And a Keldeo EX on the bench as well. A bicycle for a couple cards after the Karina and then Professor's Letter. Uh, my hand is pretty silly, to be honest. I have three bicycles, none of which I can play. A uh, laser, a muscle band. Ugh, well. Oh, hey, Seismitoad. All right, well, that was the right card to draw. Now I can bench that with a muscle band, play the laser, and bicycle for one. Got a water energy. I'm looking for a double colorless, though. Bicycle for one. All right, our Reshram, we can put that down. Bicycle for two. And we get the Trubbish in the DC, and let's Juniper for seven, and boom, right off the bat. Look at that. Look at that beautiful hand. Seismitoad, DC, Muscle Band, and we're going to drop a Float Stone onto Trubbish as well. I might Ultra Ball to get Garbodor out before Trevenant locks down my items, but I'm going to Quaking Punch, knock out Fanby, turn one, and take away all of my opponent's item cards. That is ridiculous. So, I think I'm trying to figure it out here. Seismitoad EX is actually very, very, very good against evolution decks. Anything revolving around rare candy, Seismitoad is super strong against. Anything that has to evolve, Seismitoad's pretty good against, since you shut down Ultra Ball and Evo Soda the two main ways to search out those evolution cards. And it just seems like, especially decks with rare candy, get shut down by Quaking Punch. So, Seismitoad is an evolution killer. I think I can say that much. Beyond that, though, um, I don't think it's great against EXs, but, I mean, just being able to pretty much neutralize all evolution decks with this one Pokemon EX, that is ridiculous. Uh, so maybe Seismitoad does have strength, it's just not, you know, like the, the the ultimate card that beats everything. It just shuts down a certain kind of deck. So we're going to go with the Hypnotoxic Laser on the Phantom. You can see my opponent really can't do anything anymore. And we're going to go ahead with a Quaking Punch for the knockout. So Phantom going down, two turns, two prizes, and no items for my opponent. This is showing off... The power of Seismitoad pretty well. And we got some pretty looking Reshiram on the bench as well. Uh, I did have people ask why I don't use the gold Reshiram. And that's because they are ugly and you can't even tell what Pokemon they are. I much prefer the beautiful Radiant Collection Reshiram. Which is why I play those. They're still full art. <laughs> Alright. So we do see a spinning turn from Don Fan. 60 damage with the strong energy, and you're going to see a switch into the Phantom. So, you know, a decent turn, but whatever. Not doing too much damage. I could laser there, but I'm just going to go for another Quaking Punch. Get the 50 damage on the Phantom. Could bench some stuff there. Don't really need to, though. I uh, could Ultra Ball probably and just thin down my deck a little bit, but... That's all right. I uh, don't want to play the laser until I really need to. Phantom isn't a threat. My opponent can't even play Floatstone, can't rush in, can't startling Megaphone to get rush in. So I'm pretty happy just sitting here and using Quaking Punch for the time being. My opponent gets another energy onto Donphan. We do have to worry about that attack wreck. It does a lot of damage when there's a stadium in play. Definitely would knock out Seismitoad EX, so... Gotta keep that in mind. I'm gonna Skyla here, and instead of going for a supporter, I'm actually just gonna take a computer search just to make things a little more versatile. I open up my options a little bit. Not gonna play it quite yet. Don't really need anything this turn immediately. And now this will be the big turn. Will my opponent decide to wreck my Seismitoad or simply spinning turn once again? Of course, if he does use wreck, Mewtwo is waiting to X-Ball the Don fan, and my opponent's really left with no way to attack anymore. So, looks like he's just going to go for another spinning turn, but bad news for my opponent. I did take that computer search, so let's go ahead and search for the Lysander. And we'll go ahead and bring that to the hand. Bring out the Don fan, who is weak to water, 
and drop that hypnotoxic laser. So it's going to be 30 between turns from the poison and Verbank, then 100 from the quaking punch, and poor, poor Don Fan just gets wiped out. And my opponent still doesn't have item cards. Uh, so let's keep this in mind. After my opponent's first turn, he has not been able to play any item cards. And item cards make up like 20 cards in someone's deck. Sometimes even more than that. So that's a third or more of your deck that you just cannot play anymore starting turn two. And that is ridiculous. That is why Seismitoad has the potential to be a monster of a Pokemon. Right, we're seeing it right here. My opponent has been shut down. There are seven cards in my opponent's hand. He didn't play a single one. And that's just... <laughs> uh, that's that's just brutal, honestly. We're going to go ahead and hit that Sigilyph for 50, since we do have Garbo Toxin shutting off the old safeguard there. Just going to be content to hit for 50 and shut off items. What can my opponent do here? There's a Juniper. Oh my goodness, look how many items were discarded. Ultra Ball, Bicycle, uh, Super Rod, Roller Skate, Startling Megaphone, and a Hypnotoxic Laser. All things that would be very good right here. All things that would make a big difference. But instead, my opponent has to discard the entire hand. Um, that's <laughs> that, that's just silly. So I'm going to go ahead and attach to the active to prepare for um, Grenade Hammer. If we get another water next turn, we can go ahead and use that. I will Ultra Ball for a Mewtwo. And we can just Quaking Punch again for the knockout. Man, it's really nice knowing your opponent is so limited in what he can play. So there's the Quaking Punch for the knockout, and this just seems inevitable at this point. We should be able to get the win next turn with a Grenade Hammer or an X-Ball. Either one should probably get the job done. So Phantom is coming out, and we'll see, can my opponent even survive this turn? Not really sure what's going to happen here. The Mewtwo does have 5 energy and a muscle band, so it's going to do X-Ball for 120 just by itself. So whatever my opponent does just doesn't seem like a good situation. There is a Lysander bringing out the Reshiram. And that's exactly why I held that float stone in my hand. Didn't need to put it anywhere. Just might as well keep it in case something like this happens. And we'll go ahead and retreat to Mewtwo and X-Ball for 120 damage. And what an absolutely dominant performance from Seismitoad, Garbodor, Mewtwo, and Reshram. Sitting there looking pretty. And we got the mystery box. So we're going to have to see what's inside the mystery box too. All right. I'm pretty excited. This could be all sorts of things. Um, mystery. The, the bonus wheel is actually a really cool addition. I love it. So let's see what we got. Uh, a pack of XY. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong. I will take a free pack. But that's not exactly what I was looking for. Hopefully we get something better on the next mystery box. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will certainly have some more for you soon. I am Puka from the Top Cut, and I will see you guys next time.